How do you make the molecular orbital diagram for HE2 plus? Start by drawing in the highest energy atomic orbitals for each individual helium atom. By looking at the periodic table, we can see that the electron configuration for helium is equal to 1s2. Therefore, the highest energy atomic orbital in helium is the 1s atomic orbital. To start your molecular orbital diagram, draw in these 1s atomic orbitals for each individual helium atom. Because there's two of them, we also need two molecular orbitals in order to conserve the total number of orbitals in our diagram. The molecular orbital that has higher in energy is an antibonding molecular orbital called the sigma 1s star antibonding molecular orbital. And the one that is lower in energy is a bonding molecular orbital called the sigma 1s bonding molecular orbital. Remember to connect these molecular orbitals with your original atomic orbitals for each individual helium atom. Then we need to figure out how many electrons, or more precisely, valence electrons, are present in each individual helium. For a normal helium atom, it has two valence electrons. But remember, we're working with HE2+. So one of these helium atoms needs to be a positive cation. And so this one will only have one valence electron, as one will be taken away from the normal amount of two. Adding one and two together, we find that HE2 plus has three valence electrons in total. So we will now fill in our molecular orbital diagram. And also just a quick note, this cation could go on either side of the diagram. It doesn't matter which. So we can now fill in the diagram. One electron drops into this atomic orbital here. I'll draw that a little bit neater. And then these two electrons drop into this atomic orbital. Then we need to fill these three valence electrons present in our atomic orbitals into our molecular orbitals. So we'll start with the lowest energy and two electrons will fall to fill up the sigma 1s bonding molecular orbital. And then the last electron will rise with the higher energy antibonding sigma 1s star molecular orbital. And this is your completed molecular orbital diagram for the HE2 plus ion. Let's also calculate the bond order for HE2 plus, which is a measure of the stability of a bond, its strength, and is directly proportional to the number of electron pairs present in the bond. The formula for bond order is equal to one half the number of bonding electrons minus the number of antibonding electrons present. Therefore, in HE2+, plus, we can find that the bond order is equal to one half times our number of bonding electrons, which in this case are present in the sigma 1s molecular orbital, so we have two of them, minus the number of antibonding electrons in the sigma 1s star molecular orbital, of which there's one. And we know that one half times one is equal to one half. So the bond order of the HE2 plus molecule is equal to one half. Therefore, we know that there is one half of an electron pair present in a bond in the HE2 plus molecule, which is equivalent to one electron. As we know, a full electron pair has two electrons present. Finally, is the HE2 plus molecule paramagnetic or diamagnetic? Because we have an unpaired electron in the sigma 1s star antibonding molecular orbital, we know that the HE2 plus molecule is paramagnetic. And what paramagnetic means is that the HE2 plus molecule is weakly attracted to an external magnetic field. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.